Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And today we are going to be working on the perennial pinwheels, well-rounded, by hands-on design. And today we're going to start this one in the spring. So we've basically got, we'll have all three of those started. And they're not too big so I think I can finish them and then go on to summer. But today we are working on this one right here whoops sorry got my finger right in the middle of everything and we are working on Havana no Haven I'm sorry I have it here somewhere Haven by uh, picture this plus it's 16 count so whoops you know it'd probably help if I had the pattern you know silly me like, I'm good, but I'm not that good. I am terribly not that good. So I'm using 839, I believe, is the brown. Yep, 839. It's kind of a, a medium brown. Get my light here so we can see what the heck is going on. I thought I'd start at the top because I really don't want to have to do that fill-in right like now not happening so how's everybody doing I hope everybody's having a good day and a good Monday I had errands to run this morning so this will be an afternoon video in fact it's already like one o'clock I don't know where the morning went I really really don't but uh, I had to go and go to the bank and cash my check. Then I had to go and do laundry. Then I went to the dollar store to pick up a few things that I needed. So it's been kind of a, a busy, busy day. I just wanted to sit down and stitch. This is quite per pretty. It's got some of those purples in that we used the last time. So I thought that was pretty cool. I do like lilac and lavenders. And I like all colors, really. You know, I mean, I, I don't have a... My favorite color, anyway, is blue and any shade of blue. I like turquoise blues, I like green blues, yeah, blue, I guess would be my absolute favorite. Do you like that teal and turquoise? Mm. Just I love, and seafoam green, mm. so you know, in every color, I've got a favorite shade, shall we say? Yeah, and of course, we're starting on lettering. It must be a lettering week. I mean to tell you. I just don't know. And I don't know how quite how big these things are going to be. Because I start at the bottom. And work my way up. On these. But this one has that filled in section. And I just know. Not happening for me today. I don't know that. Does it call for 310? No, I don't know what color that is. Oh, it's the same brown. So, But I didn't want to do fill-in work. I think it's boring. I'd rather see something coming together here. So I'll try to work on these three that I've started. And see if I can finish any one of them. But I just needed a new start today. I think that last one I worked on, I might have to take some of that out. Because I think I got off, you know what I mean, like off balance or whatever. I don't think I did that quite right, but I'll have to check it out again. But I do love the purples in there. Okay, let's go back. Because I missed two. 
So yeah, I came home, put my crap away. I haven't put the laundry away because, you know, it's hot from being in the washing machine or and dryer. So, oh, jeez. Came home and turned on the air conditioner. It was so hot. It's almost 80 degrees out there. And then I had to go past all the... They're working on the road. Of course, they weren't doing that earlier. Of course, they might have been because I went the back way. Yeah, we won't be going out anymore today. And I didn't get to take Molly with me because I knew it was going to be too warm. I don't. She's older, and I don't like her sitting in a warm car, waiting for me to get out of a, a store or something. Well, this is kind of weird. I guess because it's small. So, not much going on. My daughter had to take my granddaughter to the school to pick up her stuff out of her cubbies and say goodbye to their teacher. Oh, yeah, it's a sad day. And my grandson gets to go on Wednesday because he's in third, third grade. Yeah. So, yeah. They are not happy little campers this week because they miss their friends and they're tired of being at home and Yesterday, they were just running around the yard, just being crazy. They just need to blow off some steam, but, uh, it is what it is. So, not a lot of people in town, but not, not too terribly busy at the stores. It was kind of busy yesterday when we went for our fishing licenses and stuff, but, uh, I don't know what the deal was. I guess everybody just working on their roads. Not roads, their yards. Sorry, i got roads on my brain. I, I'm trying to remember to tell my daughter not to come out the back way of her place because she'll run right into all that road construction. So it's special. Oh, God. And they'll be doing that until the middle of June. I'm just thrilled sick. Worked a little bit last night on uh, three things. I'm about to get the the skeleton, shall we say, of the uh, the border done, and then I got to go back, you know, and do all the the um, oh can't think the rest of the flowers, you know, that sit in the the border. So I'm quite pleased with myself. Now let's see if it all comes together, right? Jeez, I'm telling you. It's kind of a crazy ass here. It just comes every which way. And I looked through that Blackbird design book. See if there's anything I wanted to start there, but I don't know what colors I got and I would like to get another piece ooh, of that uh, Regency by uh, picture this plus because I really like that color and I think some of the uh, what do you call it <sighs> some of the samplers would look really good on it because it's kind of got an antique -y look to it so I really fell in love with that but boy that stuff is it's not too bad if you don't get too big of a piece you know I mean it was like 35 $35 maybe for the piece that I got was probably 25 by 36 or something like that so yeah, I forgot a fair but good size but that uh, what do you call it three things is kind of um, big and like I said I've made it like down this way and across this way so I cut I didn't cut this side, of course. And then I come across, and I've come down this far, so I know how much to leave, you know, on this side. So I cut part of that off, so there's just some little pieces, and I thought maybe I could use that for those, uh, I don't know what that book is called. It's the one they've had out, you know, it's got all different kinds of little stuff in it, like little button bags and pin cushions and other nippy little things, you know, that 
that they do, but I would like to have some antique looking um, fabric to do those. And I never did get the uh, the colors for that because each one is different. I'll have to look back on the book on, on one two three stitch and see if I can order, you know, the the colors. Or if I'll have to do it separately, I'm not real sure. So it, it, it'll have to be more thought out. So, but I just think they're so pretty and they look so antique. And you know me, I gotta love antiques. Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm a yipping and not a looking. Trying to get this S together and I almost started on the top part. That would have screwed it up, wouldn't it? Oh, jeez. But, uh, yeah, I'm in love with this fabric. It's kind of like, yeah. I got a new, a new normal for me is this picture, this plus, because it comes in so many different colors. And it's just such a beautiful fabric. It's nice and soft and fun to work with I just love that Newcastle bouquet I've got a little bit more of it done but uh, I haven't worked on it in a few days and I went out and at while I was at the dollar store hang on I set some stuff away I got a it says today is going to be amazing and it's kind of a, a calendar book so it has all different kinds of places to write so Count on me using that. We'll see. You know, yeah, I know. It's like the year's half gone. So, yeah. But I thought I could use it and see how it went and if I like using it or not. So, and it's pretty well made. It was only like five bucks, you know, like I said at the dollar store. But I just thought it was pretty. And it has a nice hard back to it you know oh look look what I found in the back it's got all kinds of little stickers isn't that cute and precious yeah I ain't got time for cute and precious but I just think that's pretty good pretty cool and it even has the month tabs stickers to go with it so for five bucks I guess that's pretty good so we'll see We'll see if I, I get into using it or not, but it sure would help. I've tried all week, and it's not going real well, to write down, like, on what day, you know, like, the day of floss tube, and then write down everything that I've worked on each day so that I know what to pull when I do my floss tube tomorrow. So, yeah. That lasted for, what, three days there? Yeah. Sometimes I'm good at writing crap down. I'm, I've just got to get in the habit of doing it, I guess. So that's why I got that book, and we'll see if it works well. And what happens? May or may not use it, but it's there if I want to. I do have one of these um, thin little notebooks. You know, they're not very big. They're like half the size across. You know, three subject college rule. So, that I write things on, and then I can't find them. So, yeah, it's special that way. Just special. I'm all excited to get it, then I order it, and then by the time it comes, I've forgotten what the hell I ordered it for. Yeah, I'm just going to have to write things down more. So, we'll see. I'm still not keeping track of. Uh, what do you call it? How many stitches? I do. Hey, we got the S done. Look at us go. Okay, we're going to go over here. And I need to make three, six, eight. I need eight stitches. So, and I went to the post office and I still haven't gotten my, my lap stand. And I guess it's coming from England. So, it said Royal Post. Now, that could be either 
Canada or what do you call it? Canada or England. So we will see. But I worked a good three or four hours on that um, three things last night trying to get that border done. I mean, it was going so well, I just kept on moving. So. And it's, you know, fairly easy. You just count down seven and uh, do three and then one up and then three down and then do the seven again and that's it so I just kept moving and like I said I got three quarters of that that uh, border done so I was pretty pleased I wanted to see how big it was actually going to be and go from there turn this around a bit I got it at the top and I can't I'm not moving it. So we'll just go up and down for a while. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to getting that lap stand and seeing how that works and having it to hold, you know, the hoop in. So we'll see how it works. You know, I've, I've failed at this hoop or scroll thing before, like two or three times. So we'll we'll just go from there and see what happens. Cause that scroll thing just kind of drove me over the edge. I'm not used to stitching up and down. I'm used to the sewing method because it's so much easier. Oh well, and I looked around a little bit at, what do you call it? Oh, silly girl. I watched a little bit of, um, I'm trying, floss tube. I watched uh, Laura and the Cereal Starter, or what's her name? Good Lord, I'm losing my mind. I thought it was Laura and the cereal. No, Laura is a cereal starter, but you know who I mean. Jeez Louise. Well, that pea ain't very big. We done got him done. So, they always have such beautiful things. They were showing GGR yesterday. And I like GGR, but, yeah. It is what it is, and... I don't know. I, another the one that I wanted from GGR is Red Deer, and I haven't looked on eBay or any place like that. But I would like to get that. It'd be nice if they uh, what do you call it? Reprinted it. It was up there with uh, Cardinal Points as being the the two that I'd really like to. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to run into y'all. Um, oops, I tipped you, sorry. Ugh, my bad. So, yeah, because one of them, I think it's the other lady, whatever her name is, Brenda. Brenda had it completed, and I believe, don't get me, don't, asked me for sure, but I think it was two martini stitcher was working on it. Aaron. Yeah, it's just yeah. I that deer is just amazing. Yeah, I know. I could work on my deer on his eyes on the sparrow, but and it might get it out of my system that I really want to do a deer. And there's probably one, well, they're not deer, they might be reindeer, on um,
Let me make sure I'm doing the right thing. Um, oh, what? Heaven and Nature from Teresa Cogart. And I'll have to order sooner or later the thread for um, Strutton and the other one with Frosty for July. But I'm just kind of giving it a breather, you know, letting everybody kind of catch up and that kind of thing. I don't know that it carries, has Krynik in it. I have no idea. I haven't really looked at those patterns, but, and who knows, I might even have some reds that would match. But I haven't sat down to figure that out. It's not like I'm going to start 50 for Christmas in July. And I really want those village things. They're just too cute. And I don't know who does that. I want to say maybe Little House. I think there's two, two or three different sets. But I want the Christmas one. So yeah, it is. It is what it is. Shucks, I missed. Dang it. I hate when I do that. There we go. So I thought I'd just work on these littles today, maybe. I know I'm so close to finishing that uh, border. I'm going to finish that today. It didn't take too long, you know, but I started down one side and then I had to go across so that I could cut the fabric so it's a lot easier to handle, but jeez please. So we'll see what I get done. I worked on uh, one of these little pinwheels the other night. Let me show you. Oh, God. It's here. Damn. Oh, did I put it on? It's something else. Hang on, guys. Got to rearrange everything. Oh, I put it on the floor. Oh, the back of my legs. Is it going to rain? Okay. So I worked on this one. That was the first one. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. It's this one right here. And I worked on the, the sunflower. So I got to go back and do the inner part of that. I had to frog all this out twice. Twice. Oh, yes, it was special. It was special. But I finally got it done, and then I got that center part checkerboard done and then I didn't work on the other one so but we're getting there there's plenty to keep us busy I may save the winter ones for July <coughs> and uh, see how that goes you know to do as part of uh, ah crud I'm not paying attention. Nope. 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 Told you. I went down instead of... Oh, holy heck. Come on, guys. What is the problem here? Watch some more of Ask the Midwives. I watched a crazy, crazy cartoon. And I wouldn't even suggest it to children. Believe me. It was called the Willoughby's. Has anybody seen that? And it was about these kids who had horrible parents. And parents just were all about themselves. And the kids sent them on an adventure. Hoping that they would perish. You know, like the unclimbable Alps. and I don't know. It was just weird. I was like, okay... Okay, let's try this again, kids. Getting kind of crinkly there. Hey, we're making some progress. So, you know, yeah, no, it, it was kind of nuts. 
and it said that it was rated PG. I don't know. I wouldn't let my kid watch it, but it was kind of cynical, if you will. I don't know. Strange. Okay, gotta go back up here and stitch down. So, that's about all I've been working on. I worked pretty much all afternoon trying to get that stupid border done. Put in a couple more rows into Elemental Dragon. It's coming along fairly fair. Okay, two, yes, okay. Hey. Goodness. I mean, this doesn't line up like that one on that time to stitch. I mean, all these letters are sporadic. So it's kind of hard to tell where we got to be. But I like this blue. I don't know what else I was could do with it. Maybe some flowers. But it just reminds me of spring. And the blue skies. Hang on, I can't see where I'm at here. There we go. So. And, okay. I have worked with these, what do you call them? Peacemaker. Hang on, i got to see one. Um, needles. And they're shorter than the DMC. I don't even think I've got any DMC out. But they're a little bit harder to work with. Okay, here's my 28s for DMC. Whoop. And see, they're about, I don't know if you can see that. I can't even tell. But the smaller one is the... The peacemaker so it's a little slicker in your hands if your hands are dry which mine are so I don't know and I've got at least five packs of the 28 if I didn't like the others I only bought three of them oh god I spent yesterday trying to get rid of all the boxes from all the crap that I got I got them all broken apart, and the floor swept, and, jeez, Louise, yesterday was stitch a little, do a little housework, stitch a little, do a little housework, yeah. So today will be taking trash out day. I usually take the trash out on the day that I go to do the laundry. I come inside, drop off the laundry, and then I put the, <coughs> what do you call it, the trash into the car, so haul it around to the trash bin, and uh, that way I do it when I'm still either cold or warm, but it all gets all the heavy work done for the day. I don't like to have to lift too much. Okay, is this going to be, yes. I do like the 16 count though. I think 18 would be just far too small for me to work on. And I haven't been back to the, what do you call it? To the thrift store because they're closed on Saturday or Sunday and Monday. So maybe I can go tomorrow. Maybe I can talk my daughter into going. Oh, silly Billy, would you stop? Hang on, I'll let my thread needle hang so it'll undo. Okay, so I got three there. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I was on the right line. So, yeah. Going places, you know, a little more often now. I haven't been back to the grocery store because I went there on. Saturday night after work 
and got enough stuff for three days and got dog food for three days and that way I don't have to go and deal with contend with all that but uh, so we're getting out and about but slow but sure and the restaurants haven't fully opened so they're working on that but they're still doing um, takeout you know all right guys well I think that's going to be it for today. I'm going to try to finish the rest of the word spring up there and go and look for the, the colors, you know, for the, let me see, show it to you here, for these purple flowers. I'm pretty sure it's about the same color as that. I got this when you ordered it. All the DMC, you had one list, not like the Blackbird. There's several lists. I mean, every project has a different list. Now, I don't know if any of them are what do you call it? I don't know if they're um, fan uh, not fancy floss, but um, overdyed fabric uh, floss, or if they're silks or anything. I just know that their colors. There's a color chart for each thing, but in this there is a color chart for each thing. But when I ordered it, there was only one full list of what colors to get. So that I loved. So I will be looking for more um, hands-on design. I think they're a little more organized, um, you know, to my way of thinking. So we will see. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your Monday and a good rest of your week. God bless. Stay safe, stay healthy, and wash your hands. Bye-bye.